I'm Luke. And I'm Mari. And these are your Monday morning announcements. Please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance and respecting a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Attention winter student athletes. There is no better way to display the new athletic awards you recently received than by displaying them on a letter jacket. Pick one up at the athletic department. FCA is back Friday mornings at 7.15 in Mrs. Provine's room, room 212. If you have not received your second dose of MCV4 immunization and two doses of Hep A, please have them vaccinated before entering in to their senior year. Please give a copy of the immunization record to the health office anytime. Additional information regarding all immunizations can be found under the Health Services Department lab or the mccsc.edu webpage or the Indiana State Department of Health. FCCLA is hosting a Yankee Candle fundraiser online for the next several weeks. Please visit yankeecandlefundraising.com and use this group code. Funds will go towards sending students to the National Leadership Conference. Participate in Earth Week, sponsored by the North Environmental Club. Look for our flyers posted in the hallways. Celebrate with a five and a half inch cookie of the Earth. Purchase coupons during lunch for $4. Pick up your cookie after school in the Commons on Thursday, April 19th. The Performing Arts Department will be presenting Once Upon a Mattress in the BHSN Auditorium on April 20th and 21st at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults and $10 for seniors and students. Bring the entire family out to this hilarious musical adaptation of the story of the Princess and the Pea. Have questions about taking classes at Ivy Tech Bloomington? Save the date for College Information Night on April 19th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And now on to 84 Feet with Phil Beck and Cougar Culture. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to 84 Feet with Phil Beck. This dude over here, Jeffrey Amy. We're going to walk and talk and get to know Jeffrey just a little bit more. Come on, Jeff, let's walk. Hey, Jeff, I noticed you had something out just a second ago that you were playing around with. What is that thing that you have there? Well, it's a harmonica. Uh -huh. Play that thing for us a little bit. Obviously, you, sir, are a professional harmonicaist. Well, uh, not. Jeff, what did you do this weekend? Oh, let's see, I cleaned bridges, uh, used a pressure washer, I cleaned them for about eight hours, and boy, by the time I was, uh, I was finished, I was so hungry, I could, have eaten, I could have eaten a horse. And Jeff, after you, you finished with all that work and you were so hungry, what Bloomington restaurant would you have chosen to go to if you could choose any for your meal? I would have gone to Red Lobster. Red Lobster. Is that because you're a seafood fan or you like the biscuits? I love everything in Red Lobster. Very good. Jeffrey, thank you for walking with me today. This has been Jeffrey Ramey on 84 Feet with Philbeck. Hi, y'all. Good morning, everybody. This is 84 Feet with Philbeck. My guest today, this guy who's a little taller than me right here, that's Noah Ketchum. You've seen him around the halls. Now you're going to see him on TV. Here we go. Let's walk. All right. I'm down. Noah, Noah, where were you born? In Bloomington or somewhere else? Ooh, I don't know. You don't know? No, I'm probably in a hospital. That's a strange thing that you don't know that, Noah. Uh, Noah, what's your favorite cartoon movie ever? Ooh, animated Bros. movie. What's that? Venture Bros. Venture Bros, okay. And Noah, if you could go anywhere in the world, if you could travel to any place in the world, where would you choose to go? Alaska. Why would you go to Alaska, Noah? Beautiful up there. Beautiful. Have you been there before? No, seen a lot of pictures. Just looking, Just looking at pictures? Fair enough. Noah, what do you like to do on the weekends? Oh, sit around and do nothing. You like to do as much nothing as possible? Yep. Oh, I think he and I must be brothers or something here, because I like to do nothing too. Uh, Noah, what's your favorite meal? Ooh, uh, I like soups. Soups, very good. This has been Noah Ketchum on 84 Feet with Phil Beck. Thank you all for watching. Come together.
Hi, my name is Tracy Lemke and I'm from Accra, Ghana, which is in West Africa. And two fun facts about Ghana is uh, it's the world's second largest producer of cocoa beans and Accra, the capital, is a large city with a population of 4.1 million. Where can I get one? Oh, they're sold out, bro. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Time's running out. Get your yearbook now for only $65 or from $709 or online. Buy it now. Buy it now. Buy it now. It's time. Hi, I'm Doria Day, and welcome to Dining with Doria. Today, the cafeteria is serving orange chicken, rice pilaf, Asian blend vegetables, and seasonal fruit. Tomorrow, it'll be barbecue pork sandwiches, veggie wraps, chickpea salad, sweet potato fries, baked apples, and seasonal fruit. On Wednesday, it's Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, green beans, wheat rolls, and seasonal fruit and grapefruit. Moving on to Thursday, we're having chicken pasta alfredo, calzones, California blend vegetables, breadsticks, and seasonal fruit. Finally, on Friday, it's chicken tenders, spiral fries, broccoli cuts, and seasonal fruit. And of course, assorted juices. Thank you, and now on to Michael with upcoming events. Hi, I'm Michael, and I'm running out of ways to imply that I'm a ghost that's been stuck in this school's basement since the 1970s. So instead, we'll talk about this week's upcoming BHSN events. The girls' softball team will be taking on Columbus North on Tuesday, April 17th, starting at 6 p.m. The boys' baseball team will also be in action on Tuesday, April 17th, as they take on Terre Haute North with the first pitch at 6 p.m. The boys' golf team will be taking on Edgewood on Thursday, April 19th, starting at 3.20 p.m. at Cascades Golf Course. If you're a fan of the theater, then come see a production of Once Upon a Mattress on Friday, April 20th, starting at 7 p.m., or on Saturday, April 21st, starting at 7.30 p.m. in the BHSN Auditorium. The BHSN baseball team will be having a double header on Saturday, April 21st, as they take on Mooresville, with the game starting at 11 a.m. Thank you, and now back to Luke and Mari. Remember to respect yourself, respect others, be responsible for your own actions, and remember, it's, it's great, great to be a cougar. cougar.